Hi students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. Today's lecture deals with organs of speech and speech mechanism. Language or the faculty of speech is something which is common to all human beings. In using our language, we are operating with the help of our faculty of speech. The use of language primarily involves the two processes of making the sounds of speech with our occult organs and hearing other people's speech sounds through our ears. The spoken form is the most important manifestation of language. So, it is important to study the mechanism of human speech and the role of the occult organs in the production of speech sounds. The utterance of speech sounds by a human being involves a complex operation. An airstream mechanism is needed to provide the energy required for the production of speech sounds. Airstream means a moving current of air. The way in which an airstream works is called an airstream mechanism. The airstream involving lung air is called pulmonic airstream. For the articulation of most speech sounds of most languages of the world, we use the air that we breathe out. An airstream that goes out is called an aggressive airstream. So, we can say that for the articulation of most speech sounds of most languages, we use a pulmonic aggressive airstream mechanism. The airstream expelled from the lungs undergoes modification. Various organs in our body are involved in modifying it into speech sounds. These organs are called organs of speech. The organs of a body that help us to speak can be divided into three groups. Each group of human organs that help people to speak forms a system. The way in which these three systems help us to speak is called the speech mechanism. The three systems are the respiratory system, the phonatory system and the articulatory system. The respiratory system lies in the trunk of our body that is from neck to the abdomen. It consists of the lungs, the muscles of the chest and the windpipe or trachea. When the walls of the lungs contract by the action of the respiratory muscles, air from the lungs is pushed out. This air that passes out through the windpipe is utilized for the production of speech sounds. The phonatory system The phonatory system lies in the throat and the neck. The phonatory system comprises the larynx and the occult cords. The larynx is situated at the top of the windpipe. It is commonly called Adam's apple. The air from the lungs passes out through the windpipe and the larynx. Inside the larynx, they are situated two small structures which look like lips. They are called occult cords or occult folds. They are placed horizontally from front to back. They are attached in front and can be separated at the back. These occult cords can be brought close to each other or moved far away from each other. When they are moved far away from each other, there is a space between them. This space is called glottis. The air that we breathe in and breathe out passes through the glottis. When we breathe normally, the occult cords are moved away from each other and therefore the glottis is wide open. When we produce certain speech sounds, the occult cords are wide apart and the glottis is open so that air passes out through it freely without any friction, producing the sound called breath. Such sounds are called voiceless sounds or breathed sounds. When we articulate certain speech sounds, the occult cords are kept close to each other loosely. When the air from the lungs passes through them, the pressure of the air 
makes them open and close rapidly the rapid opening and closing of the vocal cords is called the vibration of the vocal cords sounds produced with the vocal cords vibrating are called voiced sounds all the vowels in english are voiced 9 out of the 24 consonants in english are voiceless the articulatory system articulatory system comprises a few organs in our head and neck it consists of the pharynx the oral cavity or the mouth and the nasal cavity the air from the lungs passes through the larynx into the pharynx and then out through the oral or the nasal passage the pharynx is a tube which begins just above the larynx its top end is divided into two one part being the back of the mouth and the other being the beginning of the way through nasal cavity the roof of the mouth the roof of the mouth comprises the teeth ridge the hard palate the soft palate and the uvula teeth ridge is the hard convex part immediately behind the upper front teeth it is also known as the alveolar ridge or the alveolum hard palate is the hard concave area behind the teeth ridge the roof of the mouth then becomes soft and fleshy and the soft portion is called the soft palate or velum at the extreme end of the soft palate is the fleshy finger like structure it is called uvula the soft palate can be lowered or raised if the soft palate is raised so that it touches the back wall of the pharynx the nasal passage will be closed and the air can escape only through the mouth sounds produced with the nasal passage closed in this way and air escaping through the mouth alone are called oral sounds example all the sounds in the english word cake if the soft palate is lowered the nasal passage is opened and the oral passage is blocked at some point and the air escape only through the nose sounds during the production of which air escape only through the nose are called nasal sounds for example the first sound in the english word mat during the production of certain speech sounds the soft palate is lowered with the nasal passage open and the oral passage also not blocked so the air from the lungs escapes simultaneously through the nose and the mouth such sounds are called nasalized sounds the tongue the tongue is an important speech organ the tongue is divided into the tip the blade the front and the back the part of the tongue that lies opposite to the teeth ridge when the tongue is in a position of rest is called the blade of the tongue the extreme tip of the blade is called the tip the part of the tongue that lies opposite to the hard palate when the speech organs are at rest is called the front of the tongue the part of the tongue which lies opposite to the soft palate when the speech organs are at rest is called the back of the tongue the lips the lips are important in speech production they can be pressed together brought into contact with teeth or rounded active and passive articulators in the articulation of speech sounds one of the articulating organs moves towards the other which is stationary the articulators which move are called the active articulators the articulators which remain passive are called the passive articulators the lower lip and the tongue are active articulators and the upper lip the upper row of teeth and the roof of the mouth are always passive so that's about organs of speech and speech mechanism 
here comes the questions for you please do answer these questions thank you so much for paying attention